bad. I think I'm about to get pissed on. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fish Dimension. Well, I just showed up here at Buttle Creek to do some bass fishing and it is raining its ass off. I don't care what I have to throw, how long I have to throw it, or what I have to do, today I am getting on multiple fish. It has been hard fishing here recently. And that's because I've been working a lot more lately and when I'm not working, I'm trying to fish, but it's usually raining. We've gotten so much rain this week, it's incredible. My driveway is washed the hell out. All right, the squall is passing over now, so I think it's time to head out. It's going to be an outstanding day. Come with me, won't you? I don't know why, but there's white bass all over this, uh, all over the shoreline right here, right after the storm. And they're biting the spinnerbait like crazy. I guess I'm gonna have to put the GoPro back on, see if it's fully uh, charged back up yet or charged up at all. All right, well, the chesty's back on and I'm, uh, Switching up. I'm, I'm not going just for bass anymore. I'm using this little rooster tail and I'm gonna see if I can get a, uh, a White bass or a striper or whatever the whatever the hell it is uh, catch on camera here And they've struck at it multiple times Yeah, I have a hard time uh, kind of telling the difference between uh, Stripers and white bass. I know the you know, Stripers are supposed to have the more defined uh, Stripes, I think they're white bass though. Oh Got something already. Yeah, he's on there. What is going on? Why do they like it over here so much all of a sudden after the storm? All right, the trick with this is going to be uh, getting him off of this thing without him skewering me with these uh, treble hooks, and I almost just did it to myself. You get one out at a time. That's the trick to doing it. And I know where I'm going to throw as soon as I get it out, too. Right back in that spot, that's where they're biting. I don't know why they're over there, but they definitely are. They're having a little white bass uh, tea party of some kind. Well, I said it was going to be a bassing video. Uh, I just didn't know uh, what type of bass when I said that. Alright, so there you go. First little white bass catch uh, on the GoPro. How do you like that? Nope, 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 nope. I know the spot I need to go it is right there. Sometimes when you go out fishing, uh, what you expect to happen doesn't happen, and what you don't expect to happen does. I thought today I'd be uh, coming out and shooting for bass, and as it turned out, there was a nice little uh, uh, white bass bite right after a storm on spinner baits of all things so here i am trying to capitalize on that instead of going for bass i feel them hitting me oh got one yeah stay on there buddy yeah, i am uh, i gotta tell you the truth i am becoming a fan of uh, rooster tails. An avid fan. I don't know why this one is working so well. Is it the color or, you know, like the red and white something? I don't know. Here you go. Yeah, all about the same size. Don't know what's going on here, the reason for this in particular, but uh, yeah, happy to be getting on something interesting. Back in there. Let's do that again. Let's just keep doing it. I had never caught a fish on a, you know, a rooster tail or a little spinner bait before, and then in my last video I throw this on and I start catching fish on it. I don't know what's so special about this one. Maybe because it's white. I don't know. But it's doing a pretty good job for me. Here, all schooled up in this area for I don't know what reason. It's strange. That 
got hit right away. Oh, this is a decent one. Look at this. That had barely just hit the water. And he, he, he just slammed it. This is the best one yet. What is going on here today? What are you guys doing? Well, there he goes, back to the water. God, slammed it again. Missed him, but something hit it. Again, uh, something hit it again. This is crazy. Why are all these white bass here? I don't know what's uh, going on, but suffice to say, I'm enjoying it. Highly enjoying myself at the moment. Must be something about the, the diffusion of light after a storm, the color I'm using, the placement of the fish and what they, what they feel like doing. I don't know, but uh, having a good time here. trying to run it right through the area where I know they're hanging out. And here we go, we're on another one. Wow, they can really pull hard near the end there. This is crazy. I've lost count of how many fish this is now. Hello. Another, uh, Tiny white bass. That's part of the identification somehow. I, I forget though. All right, anyway, you've been out long enough. Nope, oh, and we're back on another. God, this is just nuts. This is just crazy. They fight really hard too for their size. I mean, these, these are only about as big, if not smaller, than the bluegill I usually catch and uh, they, they put up a really, really decent little fight. I've never been able to get on them with this kind of consistency. I don't know why they're uh, schooled up with, up there like that. I think this is the biggest one. All right, all right, well, no, just about, about the same size, standard size here. I'm not sure what, the, what is going on, but uh, I love it. I'm having a great time. Well, let's just keep at it. I'm having a blast. Back you go. <laughs> well, I guess the only question here now is uh, how, how many times can I do this before, uh, before it becomes boring <laughs> for the video? I know uh, I could do it all day. And it's right away. Oh, he got off. God, what is, how many of them are over there? One bit it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's about the same size. They just, they slam it so hard. You think it's a, a, a fish that's twice as big. They feel almost like crappy. All right, now you gotta simmer down now before I put my hand over there. I don't need to be getting skewered like you did. Nuts and fun terrible to try to get out when they slam them like this. He's gonna have a uh, quite a sore mouth for a while there but another one same size and I would not want to lose uh, this little rooster tail and if I do ever lose it I'm uh, I'm getting another one just like it. So uh, I don't know if I gave you like a great look at it or anything but there it is. I don't even know what kind it is I think it's just some little deal I got it at Walmart or something, or maybe somebody gave it to me for Christmas, I don't know. It's working like a charm, though, a literal charm. Whoa, what is that? Just got on something, slammed it. Is it another? Yeah, another. Wow. I don't know what's going on with these guys today, but they are everywhere. so much bigger when they're on the line or I don't know maybe that's just what it feels like to get your rooster tail slammed like that and this is crazy 22 minutes of, of fish catches almost every cast what the hell this is why let me get down here and poke around 
Let's see. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little bait fish of some kind. It's mostly digested. But yeah, it's like a like a shad or a minnow of some kind there. Yeah. Gross. But uh, that's why they're biting like this because I am uh, matching the hatch, so to speak. This rooster tail ought to look just like uh, a little minnow or a little little white sh shad flickering. One another. <laughs> this is a little bitty one. I don't know. It's actually not so little itty bitty. Decent size. He spit one up too. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's shad that that's what they're eating my rooster tail ought to look just like that and they're feeding like crazy there must be a whole school of shad over there I mean if you can if you can see look at these guys they got fat 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 little bellies on them so they are they are feeding up like crazy right now well I you know I'm just gonna keep doing this I, I don't see a reason to stop I mean, what, what video have I uploaded recently where I got on this many fish uh, this effectively, this frequently? And, uh, you know, fish that uh, just don't really see often on the channel here. <laughs> it's crazy that they're all the exact same size. Can't think of, uh, think of a better thing that could have happened today. You know, I've noticed that that is, uh, that is just the way of fishing sometimes. Sometimes there's an event in the fish dimension, if you will, and uh, you're either there on time for it, you know, you show up when it's happening, or you're not, and you miss it and, you know, never know it happened. It's kind of like, uh, if you, if you uh, look back in my video history a little bit, you'll see a, uh, a video about big shell crackers. And uh, Gail and I were getting on those things like crazy. One evening in, in uh, you know, one afternoon and evening in May. I think it was the first full moon in May. And uh, the, the, there were just these practically two pound shell crackers biting the hell out of worms on bobbers at Flat Swamp. I don't know why they were there at that particular time or what they were doing. I guess they were feeding up for their spawn or something. But the bite was absolutely crazy and the fish were huge. And since that day, we have not seen them back there in that spot. Now we've gone, uh, we've gone to other places at Flat Swamp and gotten on some decently sized shell crackers there, but for the most part, that crazy event, that that fish party that we were taking advantage of, it just isn't there anymore. It's not happening. So sometimes you're there when something's going down, and sometimes you're not. all tuckered out already. Get away from that. It's just a school of them and they're all the exact same size. So weird. It's like why, why do all the same size fish hang out together? He's barely hooked. But that's good because uh, I'm not exactly fond of getting these trebles out. Hold still. There you go. I mean, at this point, I don't even need to show them to you. You've seen it, like, how many times now? Yeah, so interestingly enough, uh, I'm talking about Fishbrain now, which is uh, an app for logging your... your Uh-oh. Might have just lost my spinnerbait here. It's an app for logging your catches, and I learned about it last night from a John B. video. <laughs> but I gotta say, uh... He picked the right uh, paid advertisement because it's a really neat app. Specifically, the amount of attention 
that your photos get um, very quickly is really impressive. It's like Instagram for fish is what it is. And you can, you can get really local with it within your area. So I started uploading, uh, you know, I downloaded the app last night and I started uploading a whole bunch of my uh, pictures, old and new. And uh, I, I think I got like 124 uh, likes with it within uh, like a few minutes. Kind of crazy. Now that is far more views than my YouTube videos get. And uh, here's a question for you. If, uh, you know, an app's algorithm can do that for your pictures, how come YouTube's alg algorithms can't do that for your YouTube videos? How come I'm only getting, you know, uh, 20 and 30 views on my videos uh, when I'm doing everything you know that you're supposed to do in terms of you know what you title it what you make the thumbnail look like what the content is all that kind of stuff uh, you know I already know the answer to that and the answer is that YouTube does not want small channels to grow uh, I suppose I should explain something while I'm while I'm at it and we're having a good time here uh, you may look at my oh, almost had one you may look at my subscriber count and say, wow, he has 3,000. But uh, the thing I should explain is that the reason I have 3,000 subscribers, or at least it appears like I do, is because my channel used to be about something completely different. I used to talk about politics and religion, and that is where most of that uh, of those 3,000 subscribers originally came from. I've had them since about 2010, 2011. I'm actually a fairly old YouTuber in terms of how long my channel's been around. The mass majority of those subscribers are uh, old channels that subscribed to me back when I when you know the content was completely different, and they don't watch me anymore. They don't want to watch. You know, understandably, people who are you know, wanted, you know, subscribed originally to, you know, talk religion, talk politics. Uh, they don't want to watch fishing videos, and that's cool. You know, I, I did a video before I altered the channel where I told everybody, you know, hey, if you don't want to watch fishing videos, just unsubscribe. But most of them didn't see it. So now what happens is that every time I upload a video, I actually hemorrhage subscribers like crazy. Uh, the, the sub count goes down. Uh, before it was it was by the hundreds but but lately here it's been five to ten subscribers every time I upload a video I'll lose them and uh, every third video I might pick up one or two uh, fishing channels that sub me this is a good one. Oh yeah yeah he's decent <coughs> while it looks like I have 3,000 subscribers I in fact only have about 30 subscribers that are subscribed to watch fishing and since the channel is, is ex exclusively a fishing channel now that is a shame <laughs> all right he's one of the one of the most well put together little guys of the day here very nice man what a lot of fun so anyway i guess what i'm getting at here is that uh you know if, uh, if an app can get you that amount of attention that quickly, I don't see any reason that YouTube's algorithms shouldn't be able to do that with videos, unless of course they either don't care or don't want you to get subscribers, you know? Uh, YouTube's primary, pri primary concern is with their big money makers, you know, the Logan Pauls and the, you know, the Disney crap. Uh, and you know, that's, that's fine if you like that stuff. Uh, whatever. Personally, I don't watch it. I'm only sub to a few big YouTubers in general, really. Uh, most of them the bigger fishing channels, I suppose. But, you know, if you like that kind of stuff, that's all well and good. Good for you. But, I really do think that YouTube ought to put an emphasis back on the smaller channels. 
because when I first started, uh, it was really easy to get attention. All you had to do was link your video as a response to more popular people's videos, you know? I mean, I never did that without, you know, my video either actually being a response or having something to do with it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what you used to be able to do. And, uh, you know, YouTube took that away and you can't do that anymore. And, uh, that stings, you know, because, uh, I guess it's been a couple of, damn, calm down. Neat little guy. It's been a couple of months now and, uh, I'm still only getting, you know, 20, 30 views, maybe the odd subscriber here and there, usually from comments that I leave on other yeah, that's the only way to gain visibility, is, is make a comment on a bigger channel. Wow, I just went on a really long ramp. God, I got another one. This is so crazy. I've never gotten on fish this consistently ever, let alone a type of bass. Just nuts. Some of them are bordering on decent size, but I got to tell you, there's a lot of power in uh, in those little white fins. Uh, they they feel like crappy when you're fighting them almost. And crappier, what, two three times as big usually than these little guys. These guys are panfish size. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you're finding it interesting to uh, to see a, what what I'm going to start calling a, a fish event. It's an event going on right now that I just happen to be here for. It's going on only right here and only right now. I have never, ever, I mean, I've fished here a million times right in this very spot and I've never, uh, never caught white bass here, let alone like this. It's pretty nuts. Oh, hey, there's the rainbow. I was expecting one of those today. It's uh, right out there above uh, the edge of those power lines. I don't know if you can see it or not. This thing is just getting more awesome by the second. Just look at this. Oh man, that is, that, that might be the, the most beautiful one I've ever seen. You kidding me? The crazy bite still hasn't stopped. like a million of them. At this point I'm like waiting for the, uh, the the SD card to fill up so I can go. Same thing. guys would be telling each other about what's going on here. Yeah, he's the fattest one yet. Heavy. Just making it worse on yourself there, pal. <laughs> now that is a fat little one. He's feeding up on Shad. <laughs> I like can't turn my head without catching a, a white bass. Come on up. Ooh, he's fighting hard. Oh wow, that's the biggest one yet. I know I keep saying that every time I bring one in, but it's true. I keep upgrading here. Hmm, fat little guy. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Crazy, crazy day. Really spectacular though. I guess they got a little feeding frenzy going on over there now. Must be a lot of shad or minnows or, you know, whatever it is they're eating. All on that little rooster tail. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's a shot for the, for the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm a genius. 
It's every cast. I'm catching a fish every cast. They're getting more and more decent as we go. Got him. Like, I couldn't not catch a fish if I tried. <laughs> I wonder why the, uh, the shad are liking it right over here so much today. What makes the shad just kind of stay in an area? God, did you see that? That's a little one again, but damn, he flew. I'm really caught up on my uh, rooster tail catches now. All right, go back. Just caught another one. Stay out of that tree. Don't need to be losing my rooster tail on a bunch of roots or anything. All right, there we are today, ripping lips. All right, well, it's been a fantastic day from absolutely beautiful High Rock Lake. Thanks for visiting the Fish Dimension. Crazy day. Unbelievable.